Road to glory. Last episode, we built a four star, six foot four, 250 pound middle linebacker, the son of legendary quarterback Matt Maher. We redshirted at Georgia our first year just to gain some experience and then headed to the Stanford Cardinals, where we won freshman all ACC, but we left a lot on the table. We were ineligible for our bowl game because I don't know how to study. We had 23 total tackles, one TFL and an interception. Now, I'm very grateful in my first true year of college football to get any reps, but in this next season, I'm looking to be a lot more impactful. We're a 79 overall, and we have six skill points to spend, but I'm saving up for quickness. I really would like to get my speed and acceleration up. We'll need four more for that. So at the end of this freshman season, it's time to hit the transfer portal. I think my big issue with Stanford is, even though I was MLB one for a lot of that season, I just wasn't in a position to make a lot of plays. Our number one tackler on the team were corners and safeties. I think that's just a result of the way this defense is played. So I wanna to go to a program with a different defensive scheme. Now, if I become a Washington Husky, I could try out a new scheme. Stanford runs a 3-4, Washington runs a 3-3-5, I'm a guaranteed starter. I'm a good fit for this program. And the next best player is a senior 74 overall. So I feel like I have a lot of job security. Now, another good option is LSU, who's a 425. But here's what I'm concerned about. LSU is a big program that can recruit a lot of good guys. What if they also pick up another stud in the transfer portal and I'm not truly the starter. Now Stanford's a four star program. Washington Huskies are three and a half. So a technical step down and we'll have some crazy competition in the big 10. But honestly, I'm not looking to win the national championship this year. I'm just looking to improve on my freshman season. The team I'm signing with is the Washington Huskies. The four star middle linebacker Maher is committed. Let's have a great season boys. Now, I do like Washington. They've got a good overall. It's just a testament to how tough the big 10 is now. I think the big 10 was already really tough. And then you throw in Oregon, USC, UCLA. It got a lot more difficult. Shining in my heart for you. Our first game is against the FCS Midwest. So hopefully that could be a really big first game for us. We've got USC and Oregon back to back. Damn. We close out the season with Penn State and Tulsa. We dodge Ohio State and Michigan, so it could be worse. I'll grab a little bit of XP. I am definitely studying this season. I do not want to be ineligible again. I'll bring my wear and tear back to max for this first game, and I'll work on leadership points too, just to help my team's XP get up. But I don't think I have to worry about coaches' trust too much. Here's Washington's roster, our best player, also a corner, Curly Reed the third. Drew as a party right tackle. We've got a stud wide receiver, Denzel Boston. Devin Bryant's an 85 overall. And our quarterback, Devin Williams, is a 78. And at middle linebacker, I truly have so much job security on this program. All right, first game of the season with a new team. We are sophomores, and we've got an insane overall advantage on the Coyotes. This would be a great game to see what kind of reps I get, what this defense looks like. Home unis look clean. Away looks super clean. I'm not sold on that alternate helmet. Not sold on that either. Home and away are clean. I'll survive. I got the purple sleeve now though. I don't know if any of you guys are like this, but the team I go to, I actually like really care about their colors. It's very important to me. Ooh, throw up the Jameis, show, throw up the Jameis Winston W. Oh, look at the pop. All right, right in the middle of this defense, I've got a blitz. Motion the tight end over. This has got to be a run. It sure is. Damn, they got a star running back too on the FCS Midwest. Another motion man. This is a fake draw and he throws it away. Good defense. I'm already liking this defense so much better. It looks like I'm kind of the anchor in the middle at all times. And that just wasn't the case at Stanford. Ooh, quick little RPO. Going absolutely nowhere. Great defense. 7-0 Washington and we're back on defense. I've got a man here. This could be a run though. That's a handoff. Oh, it's a play action. That was not my man and he dropped it. We're good. I'll try this camera angle here since I'm in zone coverage. Oh, that is a draw. Oh my God, that play action's up my ass. That's a fumble. Wait, wh who has the ball? <laughs> I thought linemen couldn't advance fumbles. I, I don't know that rule very well. Third and 22, obvious pass scenario for the, for the Midwest here. Oh, I dare you. Coverage sack. Fourth and 28, Washington. We're smoking. Third and six, passing down. My zone's right here on the left. 
Gotta try and bait it open. That's good coverage. I don't want to say it's the frustrating thing, but if you play good coverage, the ball just doesn't ever come your way. I gotta figure out a better way to bait the quarterback to throw it. I gotta be slightly out of position, but just enough that I can make the play. First and 10, I'm gonna shift the D-line in case this is a run. Just gonna throw short. Good catch. They're going no huddle, I'm in a QB spy. I'm trying to leave this hat back open. That's our, <laughs> what a ball. <laughs> Coyotes looking to get on the board. That was a ball. Dog shit. 27 to seven. Looking to get involved, honestly. Do you guys run the ball ever? Good defense! <laughs> I shouldn't be mad. If we're, if we're just clobbering them like this, I got nothing to be upset about. Third and 22, Midwest has got to go deep. Let's try and bait my zone. Let's leave it open. Yup. Oh, I left it a little too open. I still got great zone coverage for that, but I don't know, that was kind of my zone. All right, first and 10. We've got a blitz here that is a handoff. And we're over there. It's not our tackle, but we're over there. First and 10, I've got the middle of the field. Oh, there's a rare handoff. But dude, my t we're too good. I can't even get on the halfback. All right, I've got a man coverage responsibility here. On second 14, there's a motion, fakes the draw, and my man is wide open. <laughs> I almost have to stay on player lock if I'm in man, and in zone, I stay here. All right, first and 10, I'm staying on this camera angle since I'm in zone. My zone is clamped. Oh, QB's gonna take off. Slides down, second and one. Cover two man. I'm gonna hop on this camera angle so I can actually see the back. First and 10. Oh, a slip screen. Oh, and I'm all over this. I'm <laughs> just too damn slow. Let's see what we got. Halfback's an option. He's gonna throw right in my zone. I went for it. <gasps> fumble! We coughed up a fumble. Oh my God, how's that bitch? How's that bitch? Let's go! <laughs> we just turned bad coverage into a forced fumble. That's how you make up for a mistake. I'm down there celebrating with him. Look at the Husky. Come on, Dubs. I love you. All right, third and seven, back in zone coverage. I got nobody in my zone right now. Intercepted. Can I get a block? Hey! Pointless block, but almost another pick six. I'm just laying people out for fun. Hey, that forced fumble, that is exactly why I put on silver tier hammer. It's the only ability we have. And that's ball game, an absolute blowout from the Washington Huskies. Mon Williams is the player of the game, 287 and three touchdowns. Here's the thing though. I mean, even if I, I really feel like if I played that perfectly, quote unquote perfectly, I would have three tackles. The big hit that I had, and then I missed two. So it, it's just hard. It's just hard to be involved all the time as a middle linebacker. I gotta get used to that. And I gotta get better at making the most out of my plays. But we did have one really big one. So defensively, our leading tackler was the free safety, Kaminsky. Then it was Hayden Moore, who did get five. So I don't have too many excuses. We just had, <laughs> it is ironic though, that it's telling me I had no tackles at all but a forced fumble, which was very obviously on a tackle. But regardless, I love that. That's a huge play. And it turned into a touchdown. I think down the line, a play like that is gonna be the difference between winning against a good team and losing. So I'm really excited that our first game went like that. For the next few weeks, I made sure to study, get as much XP as I could, and the Huskies got a big win against ranked USC. And that leads us to today against the best team in the nation, Oregon. Oregon's 3-0, number one in the nation. We're unranked, but this is a rivalry game. We've got 11 skill points, which means we're finally going to get that coveted quickness upgrade. I don't know how much this is going to upgrade, but I'm hoping my speed goes to at least 82. That's 10 skill points. 10 skill points down the drain right here. Ooh, huge up. Takes us from an 80 to an 81, but importantly, my speed went from an 80 to an 83. Excel from... 80 to 82. We got 83 agility, 91 stamina. That's a massive upgrade. I don't know if I want to save up another 11 for quickness again, but I'm kind of tempted because that's like the big thing. I keep getting outran by all these running backs. I did spend some energy on studying with my academic advisor. So this week, I'm just going to take health, leadership, and hit the books so that I'm at least unprepared for this exam. Hey, Washington's got seven already. Opening drive. Wow, look how beautiful this stadium looks, man. That's just gorgeous, and 
will lay a big hit there. I don't think it gave me that tackle, but that's not right. Dude, this is gorgeous. I mean, the lighting, it's like a sunset game, and Oregon looks like they're going to run the ball a decent amount. There's another tackle as well. We're already getting involved. Second and five. It'll be fun. I I've been wanting to play a team that runs the ball a lot. Do it again. Hell yeah. No. Good juke. Damn, that was a good juke. He got me. Third and inches? I feel like you run this. Yup. Yup! No! I mean, we were there, but maybe I got to cut stick this dude. How's he eating these hits? First and 10. Another handoff? I'm on it this time. No more jukes today, buddy. Oh, now we're getting involved. Second and seven, little zone coverage. Already more reps than I've seen all year long. There's another one. Another assisted tackle. We're putting up numbers today. All right, I've got a purple on this. Dude, are you gonna run the ball every play? Or... No. Oh. That's why I can't be on that camera angle right there. Couldn't see him get behind me. Damn, I got targeted like every single play there. Third and six, I'm manned up on the back. I'll try this angle. He's motioned out. Ooh, Hatback had a wheel route, but I had that covered. First and 10, I expect to run. They run out of first and 10. They sure do. I gotta go low. Hey, what a tackle. That's how you get in front of the lineman. <laughs> That's beautiful. All right, my responsibility is the tight end here on second and seven. He's pretty open, but that's not my responsibility. Good tackle. All right, 17 to seven. Huskies offense went flat. We're down by 10 here against Oregon. All right, first and 10. Expect the run. Ooh, it's play action. That could be INT. No, you didn't catch that. Oregon's full of some monsters, dude. Well, we got a blitz here. I'm shifting the line. That's another handoff. Did our responsibility. Second and eight. Got a green zone here. Another handoff? No, an RPO. Got to take a good angle in case he breaks it. Got to be ready for the run here. I know this is zone coverage, but I just expect the run. There it is. Where's he going? Good tackle. But not before he got the first. Third and goal. Goal line stand, boys. I got to run commit middle. We know he's running up the middle, right? There he is. Damn, I gotta be up closer. I gotta be up closer to the line there. Can't let him get there untouched. All right, first and 10, 14 to 24. That was a big mistake there. We could have definitely held him to a field goal. Come on, come on, it's open. <gasps> INT, I, oh, Kaminsky, good play. Really good play. All right, I've got a spy here, but this looks like a run. Yup. Oh, it's play action. Damn, and he gets it off. First and 10, what's Oregon got here? I'm gonna spy once again, so if he goes half back, I'm there. Intercepted off the tip, Kaminsky. We need more plays like that, boys. We almost could win this game. It's gonna be tough, but we can win this game. First and 10, delayed handoff, boom! Come on, baby, I gotta pop that ball out. It's a huge hit. Oregon puts up another touchdown, and we're back on defense, third and seven. Trying to bait something over the middle here. No. Throws boundary. Good tackle. That's a turnover. We need a touchdown, Washington. We need it right now. We need a Huskies touchdown, or I don't think we got a shot in this game. Instant turnover. It's all right. I'm on 2-8. Although, this looks like a run. It is not a run, but we do get to the quarterback. Good rush. I've got the green in the middle. Running back motions out again. Nothing's open. Fourth and 19. Great work. This is our last chance. We can get a touchdown here. <laughs> Washington, oh, I need you. There's a handoff. Uh-oh, counter. Got me. Oh, it's a QB keeper. It's a triple option. Fumble! Washington ball. Nice work, boys. Damn, that triple option was diabolical. Another turnover from Washington, though, too. We gotta get it together, boys. All right, first and 10. Just in case it's a counter, we gotta wait. It is a counter. Oh, no, it's not. Maybe it is. Second and nine. Oregon is not letting up. There's a handoff. Running back rocked. Hey, we bet all over the football today. I feel like we've done a lot, but Oregon's just a little too much for the Huskies right now. And that's victory formation for Oregon. Can I sneak in a tackle here? <laughs> I could have got a penalty. We got smacked by the best team in the nation. I would say, you know, the offense let us down a little bit, but still, I mean, they put up 34 on us. Can't, can't just be blaming the offense. That's a lot of points. Player of the game is the running back? Dude, he averaged three yards a carry. But dude, that was my best game. That was absolutely my best game by far.
Eight total tackles, one TFL, and a lot of big hits. Definitely our best game. Stop it, Kaylee, you dirty dog. The night before the game though, Kaylee? That's crazy. My college girlfriend was named Kaylee too. This game knows me too well. I can stay out late, it won't affect my play. That's such horse shit. The things I'll do for some pussy. The next few weeks were par for the course, string together some solid wins against unranked opponents, and we wouldn't see another tough matchup until the second to last game of the season, where we're headed to Penn State. Not only that, but take a look at this. The defensive coordinator just made me a challenge. We're facing a quality team. I know you're young, but see if you can't rack up seven total tackles. Game day challenge. I don't think I've ever gotten a game day challenge before. I'm excited to see what happens if we knock this out. I take it back. We are at home for Penn State, and this is a ranked matchup. We are 20th in the nation. Penn State's 21. At the start of the season, they were number three. So I thought they might be tougher, but they've lost a good amount of games. And if you take a look around the Big Ten, we're not that far down there. Oregon, obviously, in the lead, and then Michigan, so no shockers on either of those. But we're seventh in the Big Ten. We'll get a bowl game for sure, and I will be eligible. I've got a 3-8 GPA. Great job. I'll grab some XP, bring my health up to full, a little bit more leadership, and we are looking a lot better than we looked at the same point last season. Significantly better. I've got eight skill points. We're close to another quickness upgrade, but we're not there yet, so we'll just have to wait. But we're as ready as we will ever be for Penn State. I did crank the quarters to six minutes instead of five. I wanna give myself some extra reps. I tell you what, if anybody's gonna run the ball a lot, it's Penn State. So seven total tackles, here we come. The very first play of the game, first and 10. That's a handoff up the middle, stop it. No, damn, I'm actually so mad at myself. Triple option, first and 10. It's a handoff to the back and I'm nowhere near that. I'm so frustrated with myself. Same formation, something similar here. Ooh, ooh, I'm on it this time. Let's go, Maher. Way to make up for it. Ooh, orbit, bubble, throw it. Throw the orbit. <gasps> INT! Throw a block. No. Well, yeah, that's probably smart. Interception Huskies. We've got one tackle already, so that's a good start. Penn State gets seven, we get seven of our own. Dude, what I don't understand is like, how are they scoring and I'm not in? Who is in? Are they subbing in my backup? I've got this middle zone. Doesn't look like he sees anything, just takes off for five yards. Yeah, that quarterback's fast too. What do you got, Penn State? Oh, jet sweep. Oh, it's a fake jet sweep. He's gonna check it down, that's Where perfect. Where you going, you're lost. Shit! Okay, I know I look like a casual, but I am telling you those boundary tackles are so hard to size up. I gotta like walk, if it's a boundary tackle, I need to walk towards them and use A to do a conservative tackle. That's my only option because I keep fucking those up. It is a pass. Gonna go quick check down, conservative tackle. I'm doing nothing crazy right now. I gotta get my seven tackles. That's two right there. Second and five, handoff. No, it's a pass. Quick check down, intercepted by the best player on this defense, our star corner, Curly Reed. Pick six, Washington, we needed it. That gives us the lead. We're back on defense, just like that. 14 to seven, huge play. The interceptions out of the Huskies have been big. I dare you. Hey, we call that a coverage sack, boys. Nice work. Are they just conceding? What a weird play call here. Oh, I'm on that. Oh, we're all over that. Great work, boys. Fourth and 15, that's a turnover. Penn State's seen enough of this half. 21 to seven. Can I get the cheeky? Neil tackle. <laughs> that will never not be funny. I'm gonna switch angles here. I think this can be a run. When I think it's a run, I wanna be on this angle. Sure is. Oh! Maybe I don't want to be on that angle. Shit! Let's see what Penn State's got here. Quick pass. Caught. Blocked the halfback. That's a catch. Right up the middle. Stop. I'm getting too excited, dude. I just got to settle down. Quarterback. Keeper. Bold. Third and goal, and I'm coming out. For what? Who am I coming out for? I'm MLB one on the goal line and they just scored. Of course they did. You pulled your best linebacker. If we want to get this game day goal, we are going to need some serious tackles. First and 10, try and see where this goes. It's just a handoff. I'm held up. Decent swim move. 
No. Good stop. Don't pull me, coach. What personnel group are you bringing in on the two-yard line that does not involve your field general middle linebacker? I need to know. They have scored every time we've gone to that personnel group. 21 to 24. Penn State could win this game. They're going to pass here. Right into my zone. Rocked. But I mean, he got nine yards, so it's not a great play. I got to stay on this camera angle, though. Second and inches. Do you hand this off? No. Throw short, caught. I don't see anything in my zone. He's going to take off. Come here, buddy. Woo! Second and four. Penn State just needs a field goal to go OT. Or they can try and tie this game up. That's a nice pass right there. No tackle assist. We get down in the goal line and I come out. It's completely backwards. Oh, I'm in now. Now I'm actually in. First and 10, I'm manned up on the tight end. I see him. Throw middle is caught. Keep him out. I'm actually in on the goal line this time. We gotta blow this up if it's up the middle, boys. Come on. Come on. No, it's a throw. <gasps> Touchdown, Penn State. Shit. I think we just lost. That is so frustrating. That's so frustrating for so many reasons. Number one, on the first three touchdowns, I'm getting subbed out on the goal line. For who? For the 73 overall behind me? Now, I gotta take some, I gotta take some blame though. I mean, I missed a lot of tackles that I should have made, but I mean, none of them were too crucial. Three total tackles. Even if I had made all those tackles I missed, I would have been at six. It's just hard. This is, it's just a hard uh, position to play. And I just got to get better and better until I can actually bring my team to a natty. This is going to be a grind, but I'm kind of excited for it. Quarterback was fun, but you could like, you could manhandle your way to a win. It's a really solid team. We got to be better than what we showed out there. I agree, coach. Maybe you should keep me in on the goal line. Who knows, right? Really frustrating loss to Penn State right there. I thought we had that. I mean, we were smacking them. It's just really frustrating to be the guy on defense and they score all their touchdowns in the sim. I mean, they're scoring touchdowns on me when I'm not in there. Hey, but luckily I got a 4.0 GPA. The 2026 Heisman is DJ Lagway. And honestly, I'm being pretty hard on myself. We're 14th in the nation. We've got the quick lane bowl against Bowling Green, which is insane that the 14th team in the nation would be playing Bowling Green in this bowl game, but whatever. We have made a lot of improvements this season. And headed into this bowl game that I can actually play in, We've got 12 skill points. I just, I gotta remember I'm only a sophomore. I'm getting frustrated, but I'm only a sophomore. I'm going quickness again. That last upgrade was so big. I'm gonna spend a lot of skill points on this again here. Takes my overall all the way up to an 84 and I have 89 speed. Oh my God. That was plus five speed on that one upgrade. That is huge. I had no idea it was gonna be that monumental. Holy shit. I think my next skill points can go into probably run stopping, maybe the final power upgrade, and then we can work on IQ pass coverage. Pass rush, I'm just not big on. I don't really like blitzing like that. I also do need to get more physical abilities. We have aftershock, wrap up, inside disruptor, grit breaker. The playoff bracket is set. We did not make it, unfortunately. We were eight and four, so. We probably were never gonna make it. The buys go to Florida, Ohio State, Stanford. My previous team, Stanford, got a buy. Are you serious? You guys won the ACC? I am actually so offended. We did turn Washington around. We were four and eight last season. We're eight and four this season. Our final game of the season is gonna be this bowl game against Bowling Green. This is very full circle moment for me. My running back underdog is the starter at Bowling Green right now. I, I am I am offended by this bowl game though. I mean, we were close to being in the national championship. We were, if we beat Penn State, we'd probably be in the national championship. And instead we're playing Bowling Green in a bowl game. Hey, whatever, this should be a great opportunity to close this season out super strong. That's my hope. Yep, there's Lucian Anderson. You think I don't know Lucian Anderson? I also know that Bowling Green fucking loves to run the football. They love it. It's like every play. So starting this out with a tackle is a beautiful thing. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, all these people do is run the football. <laughs> On my running back build, the starter, Terrian Stewart, tore his ACL. So I got the start despite being like a 68 overall. Okay, I'm actually clamping the shit out of Bowling Green. It certainly helps that I know their whole playbook. I will say that. Because that's three straight tackles. This is a run. Oh, no, it's not a run. This is RPO. Oh, no. Yeah, it is RPO. Ha <laughs> ha, he just dropped the football. You think we can get a, you think we can get a sack? Our first sack of our career? I'm not much of a blitzer. 
Motions the running back, throws it quick to him, and he looks like he's in trouble. Little zone coverage. I'm dropping with him. He's throwing over my head. That ball was criminally overthrown. Do you think I could have intercepted that? Washington puts up seven. Come on, you're bowling green. Second and seven. Oh, shit. And I laid the hammer. <laughs> nice INT. He flew on that ball. Dude, I feel so much faster. I mean, from 80 to 89 speed with two upgrades, this is jet sweep. Oh, I overplayed it. Second and 11. No huddle bowling green. Motions the running back out. Quick, dude. Do we have like the best DBs or something? We're so good at picking the ball up. I've never had any of my teams intercept the football so much. It is a handoff and I am all over it. Another huge tackle. This is definitely sizing up to be our best game of our season. What better game to be the best game of our season? Do it. Give it to him. Give it to him! Oh, I was gonna take his damn head off! Do it, do it, do it. <laughs> Looks like Bowling Green may get a field goal out of this, but this is a stomp right now. Gonna play underneath here on third and six. No. I was with that for a second. I just didn't think he'd throw it. All right, Lucian makes a good touchdown there. Man up on the running back, third and six. Throw it to him, he's so open. Oh, intercepted it. Dude, I'm telling you. Hey! Tell me why I'm kind of a goaded downfield blocker. It might be because I'm 6'4", 250. I'm sure that has a factor. All right, we got a blitz here. I think if I do this blitz, I'll overplay the run on accident. Running back. Yup. Yup, he goes running back. I hate... There's nothing more frustrating than being in such good position and missing. Play under something. Come on. Wait, that was exactly what I wanted to do. I just didn't jump. I do got to remember my jumping stat is not very good because I haven't put any points in that. Well, here's a nice opportunity to get an interception. Why are you open? <laughs> he stepped out! <laughs> Bag sell of the century. You're kidding. You did not. Dude, you could. it could be an 11-point game right now. It should be. Also, Washington DBs, what on earth? It's Hail Mary, guys. We should know how to defend that. First and 10. Play action. Oh, great defense. Kaminsky almost got mossed. Looking like a nice little bowl game win for us. Seeing if I can't bait this pass out. Third and 10. Come on. Just a little scene, right? Come on. Come on. Shit. Dude, that guy is fast as shit. Who is that? He has not been, oh wait, no, 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 That's, that was the real start. That may be Terry and Stewart. That is Terry and Stewart. Bowling Green whipped out all their weapons in like the third, fourth quarter. It's a little too late. Probably a run, no? No. Ooh, big pass deflection. Nice work, Maher. Third and inches, potential run play here. Oh, it's Clifford. It's, I knew Terry and Stewart was no longer in. It's Clifford. Wide open. Second and 10, see if we can't bait something over the middle here. Hang out low, hang out low. Ooh, I think this ball game's over. They're gonna have to give this ball back up to us and that'll be it. The quick lane bowl. Washington putting up 45 is a really good sign, but it is Bowling Green. Take it with a grain of salt, but without a doubt, the best game of our sophomore season was the bowl game. The quick lane bowl was a good game for us. Six total tackles, three solo, three assisted, one TFL, and a big pass deflection. Very solid game. I'm very happy with how we closed out our senior season. I think six minute quarters is also definitely the right call for games I'm actually playing. Quick lane bowl winner, baby. All right, at the close of our sophomore season, let's see how our stats look. Obviously a huge improvement from our season with Stanford. At Stanford, we had 23 tackles, a TFL, an interception. No interceptions with Washington. Still not the best at that, but more passes deflected. We have a forced fumble. We did get one sack. 50 total tackles and six TFLs. It was a big jump, but obviously not where we want to be quite yet. We're just, we're getting there though. And that leaves the age old question, baby, of the transfer portal. Now, first things first, I got to say this defense this four, this three, three, five or four, two, five defense, so much better. So, so, so much better. And honestly, the Huskies are now a four-star program. I really could return to Washington because I feel like we really started going the right direction with Washington. If I wasn't going to go with Washington, I'd want to be in a similar defense 
TCU. TCU could be really cool. The Horned Frogs, also four star, also a purple team in the Big 12, so we definitely have some different competition. Baylor would be kind of sick. I'm not even gonna lie. How cool would Baylor be? They're a 3 3 5, but we've got some competition at Baylor. Two seniors that are very close to us, and overall, I might get weeded out. We've got a tough decision to make, as we always do. Please let me know in the comments what you think. But right now, I think Washington, TCU, Baylor. This is my top three. I'm a great fit at all the schools. They're all four-star programs. It's either I'm playing in the Big Ten or I'm playing the Big 12. All right, boys. Hey, I love you. Great sophomore season. I'm excited for this junior year. I'll see you guys in that video. Peace.